Okay, so in my defense, you asked for this. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, if you're new here, and you asked for this. I'm not taking any responsibility, no one can hate on me. Okay, we're roasting bookshelves again. Yes! <laughs> Yes! I did this video a couple months ago and I didn't get around to everyone's bookshelves, not everyone knew that I'd done it, and a lot of you asked for me to do it again. Now, why you ask me to do it again when I don't think I'm actually very good at this because I don't like being mean? <laughs> I don't know, but it seems you like me attempting to be mean. So I asked again and you guys have sent in some of your bookshelves and I'm gonna roast them to death! <laughs> again, just a disclaimer, imagine I'm pretending to be Sharpay. Queen Sharpay herself from her school school. Like imagine I'm trying to put on a mean girl persona. I don't necessarily fully mean with my chest everything I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna roast you regardless, okay? <laughs> wow, I absolutely love every time I film, my next one is wanna play really loud music. Okay, if you can hear it, we're just gonna pretend it's not there. Like, I literally can never film otherwise. Okay, let's just get into roasting the bookshelves. Oh, I need to record my screen. What am I doing? I'm like unprepared. Ava, my living room shelves and my home office uh, stack. I will say, I feel like there's a poor attempt at a rainbow shelf. <laughs> like the red going into the yellow is good and then we kind of just lose it. We kind of go, that's enough. That's enough, I've had enough of that. <laughs> I do like these kind of shelves. When I have my own place and I can have books everywhere, not just like that corner behind me, I think I will get something like that because I do like it. The brown shelves on my physical TBR leaning? I don't call that leaning. I think that's falling, Ava. <laughs> I'm falling again, I'm falling again, I'm falling. The album's amazing, song to song, I can't stress it enough. That's like two seconds away from falling on the floor. That shelf behind me, the the half one I have there, was almost falling down. It was leaning quite a lot and I was getting scared because I have cats and I, like it could fall on the cats. So I had to move all my books to the back of it, which I hate. I want books to be at the front, but we must do it to save cat lives. <laughs> now the triangle shelf, this is unique. This is unique, I will say that. I don't understand the turnaround ones. I know it's the aesthetic, but is, is that your unread ones? But then how do you like remember? I mean, I suppose I can't talk because I have a lot of books wrapped up. But then how do you remember what books you have? Because I start to forget the books that I have wrapped up, like out of sight, out of mind. So I don't like it when people turn around their unread books because surely then you're not thinking about how you want to read them. My only issue with shelves like these or like funny shaped shelves. I mean, Kendra's out here saying I love that triangular shelf. Kendra, I remember your coffin one. My only problem with shelves like these is that you, I don't feel like you can really fit. Like it's not a maximizing of space. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in. For the, like a shelf size, for book to shelf size, because you end up having space where it's difficult to fit books in. So that's my only qualm with those. Mel. What can I say about you, Mel? <laughs> I don't like these open side shelves. Again, I don't like them because I want to cram and fit as much in as possible and it makes it really, really hard to do that unless you end kind of each side with empty space or like you end them with these sideways stacks. I want to like pack everything in. I want my books to feel like cozy. Get cozy. cozy. I've become obsessed with the fitness marshal dance. <laughs> videos and I do the Santa tell me one every it's in my playlist I do and it goes there's a point where it goes get cozy yeah and the, it always really makes me laugh I don't know why it's like is it just usually just goes get cozy but then on that one he goes get cozy yeah and it just makes me laugh anyway a profound silence has entered the chat unrelated but I want my books to feel cozy and they can't if they can't be packed in Yes, I do the colouring in my bookshelf. What do you mean the colouring? Oh, the turning it around. See, Danielle, Danielle, the whole bookshelf. The whole shelves are turned around. There's like, <laughs> there's barely any books facing forward compared to the ones that are turned around. I don't get this because I want to be, I want to be constantly reminded of the books I have to read. I want to be like, bitch, remember me? Otherwise I forget. So I don't like this. And Danielle, why would you come up in here with me like this? The Funko Pops? The Funko Pops? I mean, not the Funko Pops. Not, not the Twilight scene it. <laughs> hmm, funny. 
Yes, but not funny. Ha ha. Funny weird. The open sides again. We're, we're encountering a new issue. This is a new issue. It was the fun cup ups last time. This time it's the open sided shelves. I like how you've grouped them together. Kind of rainbowy, but not like obtusely rainbowy. I would say for this size collection of books, I do like this. I like a good mug with bookmarks in. That's how I store mine. Make me cry, Anna. Um. <laughs> I mean, this isn't the worst of the worst, but I don't like movie versions or TV show versions of books. You have two copies of Once Upon a Broken Heart, perhaps three, because that could be it as well. Interesting, Anna, that's an interesting choice. You're definitely a fairy loot girly. You said, listen, I represent fairy loot. I need to sneeze. I hate hay fever. <laughs> oh! Jeez Louise. That's quite dramatic. There's not much I can critique here. I'm gonna be honest, I quite like this. I like your mix of sideways stacking. I like how you often have similar heights grouped together. Hamilton. I'll name him Hamilton. Anyway, <laughs> here's the thing. I have fake plants on my bookshelves. That's great. But like real plants, and I think these are real, kind of stress me out because I don't want soil and dirt and like water on my book, it, like, it just like, it, feel, it feels like a lot of possibility for disaster. I don't want soil on my books. Like I don't want that. So I like fake plants on shelves. I think put your real plants everywhere else, but books, come on now. And I don't like brown shelves. We know that, we know that. Listen, if it's all you have access to, because I have bookshelves, well, I don't have them, but my family has brown shelves next door. I just, I think, I just don't like them. I'm jealous that you seem to have read The Man Who Died Twice before me. That just seems unfair. I feel like no one should have read it before me, but here we are, me still not having read it. Yeah, the soil stresses me the fuck out. Like, <laughs> I know there's an opinion that some people have that you shouldn't do any sideways stacking. So we have right up stacking and we have sideways. I know there's an opinion of some people that we shouldn't do that and it should always just be side up. But I think it lacks variety. I wanna see shapes, I wanna see like different levels. I wanna see, it's a work of art. I wanna see variety, I wanna be, I want us to be exciting. And this is fine. I'm not a big fan of the square blocks, but I just feel like we need some sideways stacking to shake, shake it up a bit. At least there's no fungo pops, listen. But there, there is, there is other stuff. And you know what, I, what was that? Okay, James. See, this is what I'm talking about. I love the few sideways with a bigger one on top. I love that. I want, listen, you've got good, this is what I want. I want the variety and you're giving it, wait. Not the skulls. <laughs> bring back the Funko Pops, bring back the Funko Pops. Is that just a stick? The, I mean, listen, the, uh, the <laughs> accessories are eccentric, but I will say I do really like your, way of laying out the books. Face out, side stack, side stack with another one on top, face out. Like that is my shit. I really, really like that. So well done there, but the... <laughs> Laura, I just generally don't understand why you would come to me with this. Like, you know, I'm gonna be mad at you. If you know how I feel, why would you say that? Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know, I'm not happy. How many? One, two. Jesus Christ, they're everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's at least twelve Funko Pops this one shelf. Do we go to the Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ. I just hate you. <laughs> I will say I like this little pink corner down here. Wow. I don't like rainbow shelves, but I like pink books together. Maybe all book sponge should be pink. Let's think about that publishing. Let's think about that. We have a lot of face outs. Like I feel like we could have, I mean, if you love the series, I tend to just put one face out, even if I love the series. Like Strange Case Ackham's Daughter, European Travel for the Monstrous Gentleman. I prefer European Travel, but I put Strange Case out because it's the first book. I feel like in the series I only put one face out. There's a lot of face outs and I feel like we need perhaps a few less. That would be my one critique. Okay, we have like little half shelves here, like small, short shelves. Oh, the fucking Funko Pops. It's like, I can't escape them. Can someone please explain to me in the comments why? Like, why do so many of you like them? I just wanna be, I just, what's the appeal? I don't understand the appeal. The only thing that's stressing me out about this is it seems there's not many places a hardback could go. I feel like this is like paperback only shelves and that stresses me out. I can't have any of my shelves. Like I could have, I thought about adding in another shelf to my bookshelves, but then I'd have like a few shelves that couldn't fit 
hardbacks on and that stresses me out. Like that really stresses me out. Do my worst. <laughs> Again, I'm not a big fan of the brown shells. I'm not gonna lie. This one upsets me. <laughs> Security! Can you please escort this lady over here out? I mean, there's nothing you can do with that because of the size of the book, but it just upsets me to my core. <laughs> I feel like though you've made a good amount, you've made a good use of the space that we have here. I do, I actually quite like these. I feel like there is a cute little, little corner. Jesus Christ, this isn't a corner. This is... Guys. Guys, we need to leave it in the past. Listen, I understand the nostalgia as much as anyone else. I was the Twilight girl, but not the Robert person. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> Get my pocketbook, I'm leaving. Jane, Queen Jane though, I see that's Jane. It looks like Jane. Um, let's just, I mean, moving on. <laughs> okay, bring back the funk. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. <laughs> I will say other than that, I really like this section of the shelf. I feel like that goes really well together. But you have a lot of fucking books. Oh my God. I mean, I said, bring back the Funko Pops and Rachel said, here you go. Uh, I heard you wanted Funko Pops. Here you go. Like, don't, don't worry. Hopefully my dog makes up for my broken lights. The dog says, they're using me again, bitch. They're using me. They're using my cuteness for their failures. <laughs> I quite like this again. I do like a good, like, is this Greek? Roman? Greek? A um, uh, little, little bust on the shelves. I do like that. <laughs> oh my god, this is cute. See, this is where I can actually like smaller shelves. I like these. You guys have a thing for like skeletons though, it seems. I've seen a lot of skeletons. And the fucking Funko Pops. I mean like, listen, I've just got to get over it. Like I've got to get over it. I like these grouping of colors here. I think that looks cute. I think that looks really cute actually. It's a little like office. I think that looks very, I really like it. I really, really like it. It's a mess and nothing's in order. There are also weird books that my boyfriend's ignore them here. Shit. <laughs> Drag her, slay her, read her. Sipping on that treaty, hunty. See, that's a get out because any books that I don't think belong could just be blamed on the boyfriend. I mean, listen, the books scattered around everywhere. It is an interesting choice. The open side, I feel like we'd escape them for a bit, but they're fucking back. They're fucking back. But I do like the levels here. Again, you guys get what I want. I want the levels. I feel like it looks cute. I will never roast anyone for having blank space on the shelves because like how are we supposed to live right like people want us to have full shelves all the time but then when you read your books your shelves are full so sometimes you need a bit of blank space and i'll write your name no sometimes you need a bit of blank space to grow for the future i'll never roast anyone for that if i roasted anyone last time for that um i i, I extract my words <laughs> Not waiting three months for the shelves and thinking the furniture company has scammed you. Oh my god. <laughs> so then I can't roast you. It's not your fault. I mean, come on now. These are cute, Jordan. I like them. Oh, listen, two of the most gorgeous editions of anything I've ever owned in my life. Need to read them both still. No, I quite like these. Again, I don't, you know, I don't mind the shelf height in this context. This stresses me out here though. I feel like we've only got space for paperbacks. So that does stress me out. And Funko Pops and whatever these are. <laughs> but I'm willing to look past the Funko Pops now. I mean, like, I just have to. Final one. No one ever says anything about my shelves. Right. <laughs> Let's go. I, well, <laughs> the strange, like, box sizes is a little bit of a choice. It's a little bit, it's a little bit of a choice. That's interesting. You seem like a rainbow girly and I'm just not a rainbow girly. Like we can just be different girlies. There's a lot of Taylor. Hmm. I won't dig at Taylor Swift, I won't. But in my opinion, the worst Taylor Swift eras are, I think this is red, maybe. Reputation and lover, folklore and evermore and the old Taylor stuff are the best. Fearless and speak now never listened to any of her other albums again until folk well i did listen to them i didn't like them so i'm questioning your taylor taste not your book taste but your taylor taste yes we've got a little bit of representation for folklore but i mean like lover that big interesting <laughs> So there we have it everyone that is me roasting your bookshelves again i hope i did an okay job <laughs> it always feels like a fever dream like i come out of filming these and i'm like whoa what just happened <laughs> 
But thank you guys for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to roast my bookshelves whenever you want down below. Anything you have to say about my bookshelves, roast me. Roast me in the comments. Do your worst. Do your worst. <laughs> if you got into the end of this video, comment uh, one of the heart emojis in the rainbow because we had a lot of rainbow shelves. <laughs> so comment that down below if you got to the end. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.